Hello from our second video for Dectopus AI series. This is Nursu and today we're going to talk about whether AI will be our doom or a blessing in disguise. So times are changing and the advancements in automation and artificial intelligence are reshaping our world. There has been lots of buzz around the role of artificial intelligence, how far it's come, where it will go, and most importantly, what it will mean for our careers. Talk about the artificial intelligence future and someone will bring up AI taking our jobs away. There's a high likelihood there'll be some mention of robots rising up and an allusion to Terminator 2 or something. So yeah, it gets really dramatic. This video is very much one of man versus machine that it's only a matter of time before we're battling robots with supreme AI for our existence. First things first, these apocalyptic predictions do have their flaws, right? If AI does start taking our jobs away, then we are the architects of our own doom. Who prioritized convenience, speed, and low prices? We did. Look at retail. Brick and mortar stores are having a real hard time surviving all over the world. Why? Because of the prevalence of online retailers. When discussing the advantages of AI automation, the most common counter argument is that it shuts out the lowest paid workers. According to opponents, AI might lead to unemployment in demographics with the lowest level of education and the fewest options for switching careers or finding alternative employments. It is true that in some cases, the number of employees have been reduced by the use of technology. Think about car production lines, self-service checkouts, or the greeting you hear when you call a contact center. But all those illustrations miss the point. AI can make decisions faster than any human could hope for. Isn't it a bit of a waste to use these abilities only for jobs requiring a minimal skill level? Wouldn't it make more sense to apply it to jobs where quick decision making would be more useful? Would AI make these jobs redundant? Well, if deployed correctly, yes. And you know what? That's a good thing. Why? Because you'll have more time to concentrate on bringing the emotion back to business. And why is emotion so important in businesses? Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the desire to accomplish tasks more quickly has been at the core of every usage of machines or computers. To go beyond what is physically possible for humans who require rest, food, and bathroom breaks. The loss of the human element and the personal touch is one of the negative effects of technology in businesses. We complain about faceless corporations, of the tyranny of the contact form over the direct dial. We sacrifice the ability of businesses to be empathetic in our pursuit for speed and convenience. The bank manager no longer knows his clients and neither does the butcher nor the owner of the local restaurant know what the regulars will have. Organizations now have the ability to re-establish that human connection with their customers thanks to AI. Being able to act fast and decisively, but with emotion and empathy, enables a more immersive and uniquely human experience. AI has the ability to research, make a judgment, and then leave humans to communicate that decision in the best possible way. There may be a call center representative who has been given immediate access by AI to change a customer's account. An example of this may be a doctor employing AI to make a diagnosis so that they can concentrate on the patient's treatment more and bedside manner. As organizations strive to seize the opportunities given by the massive volumes of data being generated, they also wrestle with the complexities of managing these complex tech environments. Wouldn't it be a significant help to deploy AI software that can tell the organization what's working and what's not? It might be wind farms in the North Sea, solar panel arrays in the Middle East, or a platform supporting autonomous vehicles. Using AI enables businesses to collect data from all sources while maintaining accuracy and agility. The AI future will not result in job losses, but rather more time for employees to concentrate on adding value and less time spent keeping the lights on. Humans will eventually be unable to manage the volume of data being produced as the world gets more and more digital. You can see relevant complaints that social networks aren't doing more to monitor harmful content, or statistics that say 60 to 73 percent of collected data is never used for any strategic purpose. Why would we ever want to compete with something that could use each and every released medical article to make a diagnosis? We shouldn't. What we should do instead is use that ability to enhance our fundamental humanity and provide value. 
Its value could be as simple as calming a patient, resolving a phone contract issue, or developing a new app. Whatever it is, AI will enable us to complete it more quickly and effectively. So to wrap it up, the future of artificial intelligence is not about AI taking our jobs away. It's about delegating routine tasks to AI so that we can focus on tasks that only humans are actually skilled at.